Any any fresh injuries ahead of the game this weekend? <laughs> Uh, no, Casey still out. Uh, yeah, the only one is Jimmy. That after Sunderland game, he didn't train with us. Uh, nothing important. He just uh, he needs just uh, rest a little bit. And today we see if it's available for the session. And for the rest, I think Dennis Pratt is still out injury. And uh, that's all. Uh, on Casey, uh, well, what's the problem there? Do you know how long you're going to be at, without him for? Uh, it's the same problem that he had already in the in the past this season, a bit less than the previous one. So hopefully we can have him back in I don't know two, three, four weeks. Uh, and on Jamie, I know you said it wasn't uh, particularly serious. Is it is it an injury or is it just a case of managing him in his minutes? No, he had just uh, no, no. It's not an injury. He had just some. Uh, it's just matter with Jimmy uh, to manage him uh, because of uh, you know uh, because also of the age and he played the other day and he didn't train with us in the next two days and as I said we see this afternoon. Um, Yannick Vestergaard is also uh, re-available this weekend. Uh, Connor Cody has filled in well I think in the three games that Connor started over the, the, well, the last three games that he has started, the, your side have kept three clean sheets. How how difficult a decision is that for you when you're looking at, at your back line again this weekend? No, yeah, it's uh, only, always difficult, not only now, because uh, Connor played and we won and was clean sheet. Also in the past, when he was out, for me it was difficult to leave him outside because uh, I always said the same, it's an important player for us. He's doing a fantastic job uh, inside the pitch and outside the pitch and this weekend Yannick is back I think we also had many clean sheet with Yannick so the important thing is that all of them they are available and we can we can choose uh, following the game with Sunderland on Tuesday night there were lots of reports coming out about the financial situation at the club I, I wonder what your understanding of it is and, and what you've been told no, uh, uh, I have been told exactly the same that you can read everywhere. Uh, in this moment, to be honest, uh, it's not something that I'm paying at attention because uh, the focus is only in tomorrow game and we see in the next days, in the next weeks. As the manager, does it concern you that those kind of things can seep through to the players and the, and the changing room at, at this stage? Uh, no, to be honest, I think we have to be focused in this moment. Uh, in the same time, it's something that uh, we don't like. But uh, as I said, it's just now. It's just uh, we have ten more games. That I think is the most important thing for us, as uh, for the players, for the staff, for the club, for everyone. The most important thing. And then, in the next days, in the next weeks, we see what's happened. But it's something that, uh, to be honest, I can't control. And the things that I can control, there's nothing to do. Because of the, the context of what the what the reports and uh, what, what, what's been said and the things that have been looked into by the EFL, has it made, in your eyes, promotion from the championship even more important now? No. <laughs> no, we always said that uh, the prom get promoted was something important. I think it's still something important. But uh, as I said, because I don't know what is going on in the next days, in the next week, I don't have the feeling that now it's more important. What's important as is still still important. Uh, Hull City next up is the start of the final ten games of the season, and so what do you need to do in these final ten games to make sure that you achieve your objective? No, yeah, we start uh, very far. If you remember, we start uh, September, October. We always said we are still in September, still in October. So, now we are, yeah, we are close. We are in March, as you said, ten games to go. I think uh, we have to focus in game by game, try to win as much as possible, and then we see, we see, we see at the end. Have you identified how many points you might need to to achieve those targets? You? Well, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe six or seven wins, maybe uh, would be my would oh, be my guess. Oh. Out of ten, but I, I wondered what you thought. I think people probably care a little bit more. About no, no, no. I think uh, if you f start to think how many wins you need, it's a big mistake because uh, you can win six, but if they win ten of ten, or you can win uh, six, and if they don't win six, it's just uh, 
it's just tomorrow game. I think now you see that, uh, I don't know, Coupe uh, in the last eight games, nine games, they won six, they draw. Sheffield Wednesday, exactly the same in the last six games, they won five. Now everyone is fighting to survive or to win. So every game is will be very difficult. The last game, we won 0-1. Uh, Leeds win, uh, won 1-0. Ipswich won at the end of the game, 3-2. So now every game is will be will be difficult. Hull, uh, of course, you travel there tomorrow. Well, what have you made to them in, in your analysis of, of how they're playing? Fantastic, to be honest. It's, the way they play is... is it's fantastic. I really like. It's a team that they play. They try to play always. Uh, I watch uh, some games in the last two, three days. I watched the game against Southampton away. Unbelievable. So yeah, will be a very tough game tomorrow. Uh, and finally, from me, Enzo. Obviously, this is the final ten games. It's the the run until the end of the season. What what would you say to the the fans and supporters about what they can do to help? No, just to continue in the way they are. Uh, away home, just uh, stay next to the club, next to the players. That, uh, as I always said, they are doing unbelievable effort since day one to try to bring this club where they to say deserve to be. So just to be close to the players. And so thank you very much. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, done. Hi, Enzo. Um, just a quick one on Jamie Vardy, please, and how crucial he has been this season with his experience? I, I said many times, uh, there are no more words to explain how uh, Jamie is important for us, has been uh, more than important for this club in his history. It's still very important for us. Uh, his behaviour since we start has been fantastic. He's trying to help inside the pitch, outside the pitch. Logically, when he's not playing from the start, he's not happy. But uh, this is not only Jimmy, it's all the players, they are the same. But uh, yeah, hopefully he can help us uh, to reach our target this year. That uh, I think is the most important thing, even for Jimmy in this moment. And then, then we see. Have you noticed the players relax a little bit after that win got them off that run? Uh, I didn't see the player worried before that game, to be honest, because we tried, as we said, we tried to analyze every game uh, and the three defeats in a row. I don't think we deserve one of them. Uh, probably uh, uh, Sunderland won uh, was the game that uh, uh, we didn't create so many chances like the previous game and at the end we won. But we said many times uh, we can't control the result. We control just the way we want to play. And I think even in the three defeat, the, the team was there, shown themselves the way we want to play. Sometimes it's very difficult because uh, there are no 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 space, uh, especially Kupiar at home, even Middlesbrough at home. Probably the one that was a little away that they were a little bit more open, and we create even there many chances. But uh, I didn't see them worried before the game. For sure, I saw them happy after the game. But as I said, in this moment, it's a matter of balance because when we win a game, we see ourselves close to the target, so we are happy. And when we draw points and we see the teams in behind that they are winning, we are a little bit uh, upset, but uh, it's just a matter of balance. But there are still 10 games. That means 30 points is still so long, unfortunately for us. <laughs> you mentioned there are things that are outside of your control. The financial... Uh, things are, of course. I just wonder with the sporting sanctions that, that come in, the points deductions, no, I'm not talking about Leicester City specifically here, but whether it's impacted your enjoyment of football, the Premier League, I think people have, uh, have said about this season being less enjoyable because of that. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's so complicated to be honest. They try, even now, they try to explain to me the situation. But uh, in some moment, I stop them and say, Mate, to be honest, it's, it's so difficult. So the most important thing for us, for me as a manager and for the players, is just to be focused on the, on the game, try to win game, even if they are human beings and they use social, I don't have a social network. So, but I can read things also, but all of them, they have social networks, so they read information. And this can be something bad in this moment for the players. But uh, 
they are intelligent and they know that uh, in this moment the most important thing is just uh, play game and try to win games.